Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ishan. I am a reporter for a Delhi-based environment and science fortnightly magazine called Down to Earth. And I'm also one of Earth Journalism Network's story grantees. Talking about how the pandemic has affected my profession, it has affected it a lot. Uh, first thing that comes to mind is uh, the curtain curtailment on movement. Starting from the last week of March, India imposed a nation nationwide lockdown where movement across states was very difficult. Now, as a journalist who relies mainly on insights from the field, talking to people, you know, looking at problems through their eyes and getting the nuances through that, it has become very difficult for me because I cannot travel to the these areas and see what is happening. Another problem is that even if one gets to go to these areas, the people are not willing to talk. I'll give you an example. I was recently, in the last week of May, I was in Rajasthan, which is a nearby state, uh, reporting on the locust invasion. But uh, I found that the villagers there were unwilling to talk. And in fact, in one of the villages, uh, I and one of my colleagues were almost lynched because the people thought that we were there and we would spread corona. And this makes sense to some extent because come, going from Delhi, which is not just the na nation capital right now, but also the corona capital of the country, uh, people would be parano paranoid. So instead of, instead of being able to talk to them, you know, understand their problems, the situation is that people are paranoid and they don't want to talk to reporters because they fear that uh, they might get affected. And uh, so that was one bit. Another is that... As we are moving into a unlockdown situation, as we are calling calling it right now, where movement across states are being the movement is is being opened, uh, a unique problem has presented. Uh, a unique there is a unique problem there. So I was supposed to travel to uh, the coal mining areas of the country in states like Jharkhand, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha. But as the rules stand right now, anybody traveling from from a space from a place like Delhi, which is which is a red zone in terms of COVID. To these areas, they'll have to, uh, they'll have to put themselves in a fourteen-day institutional or home quarantine, thereby defeating the entire purpose of reportage. So, for me as a journalist who likes to travel, who you know, who who, who does a lot of field work, these are some some of the main uh, problems that the pandemic has presented. It, another problem that I feel the present uh, the pandemic has brought in for a journalist like me is that the government has become more, uh, more centralized and more opaque. So, so the information that, that was easier to get earlier is not, not happening right now. A lot of channels have dried, a lot of sources are not willing to speak. Uh, this pandemic has shown us that, that what climate change can do. I mean, if climate change is, th is a threat multiplier, then we are seeing its impact right now. Although it's, it's the virus which is ravaging people's life, it's all linked to it is also the economic issues, the, the livelihood issues. and. And if anything, the, this pandemic should be our eye opener of what climate change will bring to the world. And if we don't do things differently, this is a path we are headed towards. Thank you.